Welcome everyone to another edition of Taking Stock Live, where we do just that. We take stock with leaders from retail and brands all around the world. And I know for me and for many of those of you who give me your us and us your comments on LinkedIn, it's been an incredible opportunity just to learn about people's backgrounds, how they're thinking about the future of their space, and some of the lessons along the way. And today, for me personally, I know I'm going to learn a lot from Francesco Tinto, who is the global CIO for Walgreens Boots Alliance. And he's just had this incredible career. And I mean, I can't even imagine what it's been like to be at the helm of, of technology for Walgreens Boots Alliance for the last two years. But Francesco, first off, just huge thank you to you. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, thanks, Shelley, and really thank you for inviting me. Really looking forward to this conversation, and sooner or later also uh, having, again, face-to-face -face meeting. We are <laughs> almost there. Almost there, thanks to you. And, and I was actually reading a little bit about you guys. I think you've, you've given 56 million vaccinations to date, <laughs> so. Uh, oh, yes, and uh, probably this, was, this number was old because uh, we keep growing every week. And Amazing. I think it's just a, a, a small help that we are giving uh, really to go back to our normal life. So that's very um, uh, fulfilling our purpose. Will you talk a little bit about how you think about the role that technology plays? I know it's a big question, um, empowering the, uh, the retail experience. Uh, yes, absolutely. I think it's a technology. It's really at the core of the transformation of what we are doing here at the Walgreen Boots Alliance. In terms of how we migrate from a traditional physical experience on creating an omnichannel uh, set of experience solution that are targeted to the customer. And that's where we wanted really to make sure that uh, we bring the, uh, the strength of the physical environment, our strength of the presence very close to the customer, the strength, frankly, also of our pharmacist, their knowledge, their uh, professionalism, the possibility to add uh, the role that they play in the neighborhood, together with as well also the digital element, which is how I expand the different channels. And uh, the combination of these two elements is really what we believe is our uh, winning, uh, uh, winning element, uh, because we really want it to be omnichannel. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think, and you just said it, like sort of the strength of your physical presence, the strength of understanding the consumer and your pharmacies. Um, I mean, I think you and I both know customers don't wake up, you know, and think of themselves as a as a retail customer one morning, as a pharmacy customer as another morning, or an online customer. Like they just think of it as as Walgreens. And they they think about Walgreens, and more important is that how seamless they can connect with the Walgreens across all the different channels. When they are at home, we're on the, on the street, we're in the store, when are at the phone. So how do I create an experience for them that says, whenever you touch, you really are one Walgreens, one single experience, and for you, it should be seamless. And more important, which is the next level is, how do I know the customer in a way that I'm personalizing the experience for for you in a way that is uh, I provide the service that you are expecting in the in the most efficient way. So also reducing the um, the difficulties in the experience. So I'm not presenting Walgreens. That is the comment we are saying. I present my Walgreens. It's really something that has been designed and tailored for you. Absolutely. And I, I, I mean, I think, and, and you've had tremendous success. Maybe you'll talk a little bit about it with My Walgreens. And my Walgreens is, uh, is a concept that we introduced uh, um, now almost uh, 18 months ago. And uh, I, I really always like to say that this is not just uh, the relaunch of, uh, a, of a loyalty program, but it's really creating an experience, an experience for the customer where I have... Uh, the entry point into the into Walgreens is this personalized experience that we want to be seamless if you are in the web, if you are um, in the app, 
if you are over the uh, call center or if you are in the store. So the my Walgreens, is how I interact. From a technology point of view, that's where we have been, uh, you know that we have been working with you and uh, in the partnership about how do I create a customer identity across all this channel, how I build a personalization on top so that in each and every interaction, I really bring an experience for you. So. What we keep saying is that we won't move in from a one-to-many connection, uh, but to a one-to-one. Walgreen is personalizing the interaction with the with the customer. Yeah, and you can, I mean, I, you know, and you can feel it as as the end customer. I know, going sort of going through our own experience in my in my house and in, in getting people vaccinated and going in and getting medications, like I, you know. The integration across, you know, your different channels and tailoring it and helping reminding me when I have to pick things up. Um, you can really feel the progression of, of some of the investments you're making. And I always say, like, personalization is good when you don't even know it's happening. Yeah, what, what we really would like to make sure is that we anticipate your needs and we bring you the, the content that you are expecting. Because we want to, we also want to be respectful of your time when you're engaging with us, and we want to make sure that you get immediately what you need. That is also at the base of creating a relation that is much deeper, when we can bring the knowledge to you, anticipating your needs, and that goes across all the different areas. Because the the beauty of it is start from the retail aspect, but also goes in the pharmacy aspect. It goes into the healthcare aspect, so it is really creating an integrating experience for the custom. Absolutely. I can't even really truthfully imagine what it's been like to be you for the last two years and, and what you've been navigating in terms of just, you know, having all your employees initially at home, but the front line out there, you know, really trying to keep themselves safe, um, trying to keep their customers safe. But maybe you could share, you know, just some of um, the lessons you've learned in the last two years as, as you have navigated, um, you know, the, this team, this opportunity and, and, the, and this incredible brand. Absolutely. So first of all, I, I cannot be more proud of the organization and the team and how they have been stepping up during these two years of pandemic, uh, starting from the beginning where we were in a situation where for sure the, there was a, a need, first of all, of thinking about the personal safety and the safety of their family, uh, but as well also to helping the company to cope with this situation. The, uh, equipping the people to work remote, uh, providing innovative solution for the customer to interacting with us while uh, they were in lockdown, uh, guaranteeing the safety of the team member that were in the front line in the store every day. So I think that there's been uh, uh, really a, an element where I've seen uh, our people, our team member really leaving the purpose of the company to provide health service uh, and thinking about the health first of our patient. Uh, having said that, the key learning for me has been how at, at a certain point there was so much work, so uh, need to accelerate all the roadmap to provide the, re uh, the, the roadmap to the uh, to provide solution to uh, our customer and patient that uh, uh, one of the strengths has been how we have seen our people to act as a leader uh, act in a multifunctional team that teams that were empowered to take decisions and really escalating whatever they needed mainly because of conflicting priority but i was uh, really amazed by the capability of our people to take on a, uh, a, a program, a task, and to deliver and to take decision and really to accelerate. So that has been incredible, in, in my opinion, how uh, we were acting all with one single go goal and guided by our purpose. 
Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And, and, you know, the, I know, and you'll never say this about yourself, but I know that culturally, uh, that's because of how who you are and how you lead, that people feel empowered, you know, to make those decisions and to work, you know, those hours in the night to get things done. It's uh, And of course, the culture of, of Walgreens as well. But I think, you know, you set the tone. <laughs> I know you have very high standards as, as, as a provider to you, but you're fair. And, um, you, you know, you, you give people the, the, the empowerment to go and get it done. And um, so I'm sure that that's part of why you're proud of what you saw in the last two years. At the end of the day, I'm really proud about the team and also our partners. Uh, everybody step up and work at their best to achieve and to get where we are now, which I'm um, looking forward. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it, it's incredible. And I think to your point, um, as someone who gets to work with your team, the way the technology is actually getting pushed closer and closer in the store associate into the end consumer, and then they're developing applications, whether it's store audit or, you know, um, boots program, like things that are actually like meaningful at the store level or, the, you know, getting, getting the tools closer to the people so that they can make decisions in turn with speed has been um, just a super fun evolution to watch. It's not sort of corporate IT pushing things down. No, absolutely. Because what, what I truly believe, and that has been uh, Definitely, the cultural shift in in the IT organization that I, I I always wanted to bring in is at the end of the day we want to to make a change a change in the way uh, our user our customer work we want to focus on the on the business results so I want to shift from uh, just implementing a technology or a capability but on the adoption on the change at the end of the day are we making a transformation? What we uh, looking back, is it better? Are we doing an experience that is changing and is creating a change for the best? Right. And so I think that's that's also push all our organization to be. We want to be closer. Uh, we want to understand what happened in the store. We want to understand what is uh, what the customer thinks because that is where at the end of the day will allow us really to tailor the right experience. Mm-hmm.